Oh, uh, he'll, he'll handle it just fine. You know, Cliff, Cliff, everybody talks about Cliff being young and Cliff being inexperienced. Well, Cliff's been around the game of football for, for 33 years. You know, growing up as a coach's kid, being on the sidelines, you know, playing a bunch of football in, 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 in college at Texas Tech and having success. At, you know, at the quarterback level, he's going to be more cerebral than anything. He started coaching. He liked it. He liked the situation. He liked working with me and Coach Sumlin and took it and ran with it. Yeah, I'm really happy for him. Proud of him. You know, I coached him three years and was around him three years the whole time. He was in my office nearly every day. And uh, I just think he's a good guy for football. So he's a guy that, that's, that's good for a game. You know, he's, he's a positive person. He works hard. He's passionate about it. And he's a very intelligent person, so I, I think he's uh, had a good spot, had a good time for him and for Texas Tech. From from an offensive standpoint, he's got everything you want. He's smart. He understands how to game plan. He understands how to to call plays. He understands how to keep things rolling practice wise. Um, you know, it, it, it takes some time to be able to figure out if you know how to do all the other stuff, which I've got complete confidence that he's smart enough and is is um, is really good with young young men to be able to understand the rest of it. No, I mean, like I said, I was around him every day, and he, he I literally used to come out. And, you know, I'd come in the office, he'd be laying on the floor, you know, resting, watching tape. But uh, just a tough guy, you know, and, and a very a fierce competitor, you know, and a, and a good, silent leader, you know, led by actions. What do you think of the makeup of his staff with uh, half a dozen of those guys being young former tech players? Yeah, I coach all those guys, too, six of them. But, uh, no, they're all, they're all good, good guys, good coaches. I mean, love the game. And uh, you know, passionate about having an opportunity to, to do something they love. I mean, how often do you have an opportunity to, to really do something you love with a lot of people that you respect? You know, I, I'm in that situation with Baylor. You know, and I'm sure he feels that same way at Texas State.